All right. I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Shem, Yahweh Shai, by Shem, Rakakwadash. Double honor to my elder apostle, Great Millstone, who will well. So I touch the rest of your brothers, push the truth with the city, risking your life to do so in the spirit of power, Yahweh, by Shem, Yahweh Shai. Shalom. It's your brother Kawhi, Yahweh, to come at you with another lesson tonight, man. You know, I want to do a re on this uh, video that the elder apostle bar did three days ago. You know, go look at the video, man. Go watch the video. It's very, it's a very edifying lesson, man. You know, to the lambs that you have by Shimei Shai, man. Okay. But I just want to add a couple scriptures onto the elders' lesson, man, and make a, a video about it. Okay. So, uh, you know, he uh, he touched on this uh, black swan event. All right. And uh, he said the major, uh, uh, you know, moment in that black swan event is going to be the returning of our Lord, Yahweh Shai, man. Okay. When he comes with that whole host of heaven. All right. And that will be the, the you know, that will be the most looked out event in that, in, in that quote unquote black swan event, you know. You know, the, the men of the Lord is going to be looking for that, that, that one major event, which is the returning of Yahweh Shai, man. All right. And these other heathen, they're not looking for that for that uh returning of your house shot, man. All right. So uh I'm gonna I'm gonna click on this video right here. It is brother right here. Hey Shalom, hey check this and out. This is the video. Right to uh I, I don't I don't uh remember which camp this was, you know, but you can see it, stuff the like video. that, man. If you know, that put fear that put fear in his spirit, man. No, he don't want the world to see that. He first started it. But you see in the background right here. Jim in Chicago, this all the groups spread out throughout the world. London, Toronto. We under the banner of Great Millstone. All Israelite camps is not the same. So we proclaim we have 100% truth. 100%. No, no additive, no filters. Uh, I'll show you the title. You, know? you can go watch the video yourself. See, you saw okay? at that. But how is, who you call Jesus Christ is returning, standing on top of a huge, quote unquote, UFO, man. What you people call UFOs, man. Which are really just the chariots of Israel. And they've always been around, man. Okay? That's why you see them, you see UFO, quote unquote, UFO, uh, you know, paintings in these old paintings, man, okay? Of uh those old ancient Edomite uh artists, you know? They they have they painted those uh those the chariots, yeah, okay. Uh you how about Shimmy How Shy. They painted the chariots of the of the most high in those paintings because they was there, man. The chariots have always been around. Even in the uh the Egyptian periods, all right? They they have uh they have uh, engraving images inside those pyramids of of, of so-called UFOs, man. Okay, and you would ask yourself if you don't know, man, who rides around in those UFOs? The angels, okay. The angels ride around in those UFOs, man. Okay, and who who the world innerly calls Jesus Christ is gonna return in one of those, man. Okay, that's the technology of 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 uh, of Yahweh by Shimei Shai, man. Who you call God, man? That's the technology of the Most High. All right, so a technology that you can't even uh, pretend to comprehend. Okay, so let's hop right back, hop right into these scriptures. This is a uh, Ecclesiasticus Salaki. This is Second Edris, chapter 13. It's not gonna be a long list, I can, you know, it's gonna be about around about 10 15 minutes. I'm like, end it out. This is 2nd Edris, 13th chapter, starting at 1. This, and it came to pass, after seven days, I dreamed a dream by night. And lo, there arose a wind from the sea that it moved all the waves thereof. And I beheld, and lo, that man was strong with the thousands of, he of heaven. That man is talking about our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shah, man. All right? And with the thousands of heaven, that means he coming with the whole host of heaven, man. Okay? All the angels going to be with Yahweh Shai at that moment, bro. Okay? And, and in the men of the Lord, you know, that's preaching Yahweh Shai is looking for that day. All right? 
And when he turned his countenance to look, and all the things trembled that were seen under him. Now, this is the, this is the a vision that Edris has gotten uh, from an angel of the Lord, man. All right. And whatsoever the voice went out of his mouth, all they burnt that heard his voice. Like as the earth filleth when it filleth the fire. All right. That goes to show that when you see these Hollywood movies with these so-called UFOs, man, and they start shooting laser beams a concentrated heat out of them. All right. That's going is that's going into that, man. That's where you think these Hollywood directors get it from, man. They get it from the scriptures. All right. <laughs> this is five. And after this, I beheld and lo, there were gathered together a multitude of men out of number from the four winds of heaven to subdue the man that came out of the sea. Okay, this is in second Edges thirteen uh second Edges thirteen chapter. How about how Shai is coming? You know, he's sent from Yahweh, right? Yahweh Shai is coming with the whole host of heaven, man, with his brethren, all right, to subdue every heathen that's in rulership on this earth, man. This is going to be in the midst of World War III, all right? And that, and as he comes, okay, chariots are going to be popping up all around the world, man. And this and this, this, uh, this uh, multitude of men, okay, are going to be those heathen, all right, to try to subdue Yahweh Shai, man. They're going to try to band together. They're going to put their differences aside and try to band together to fight the Lord. But let's see what's going to happen to those men. But I beheld and lo, he had graved himself a great mountain and flew upon it. All right. Hey, it said he graved, his, he graved himself a great mountain and flew upon it. All right. That's talking about the chariot. All right. And not talking about an actual mountain like Mount Everest, man. This is a huge, huge chariot that, that Idris saw. All right. And he flew upon it. All right. And seven. But I would have seen the region or place where out the hill was graven, and I could not. That means it was too big for Edris to even comprehend on, on where it ended and it began, man. All right. And after this, I. It's like you. And after this, I beheld and lo, all they which were gathered together to subdue him was so afraid and yet durst fight all right so that yahweh shah put the spirit on the, on on the, on these heathen at this time that in the vision that he saw which is his future prophecy by the way uh to fight him in the air man and they gonna get utterly destroyed let's continue and lo as he saw the violence of the multitude that came he neither lifted up hand up his hand nor held sword nor any instrument of war but only I saw that he sent out of his mouth as it had been a blast of fire and out of his lips a flaming breath and out of his tongue he cast out sparks and tempests that's going further into that concentrated heat, man. Yahweh Shai gave the order and then hey, the, the chariots of the Most High started zapping everybody to powder, man, that tried to fight against him. You're not going to win against an, an angelic force, man. The Lord is going to utterly beat you to powder. All right, let's continue. And they were all mixed together, the blast of fire, the flaming breath, and the great tempest, and it fell with violence upon the multitude, which was which was prepared to fight, and burnt them up every one, so that upon a sudden, of an innumerable multitude, nothing was to be perceived, but only dust and smell of smoke. When I saw this, I was afraid. Now, right. <laughs> After this, after Edris saw this vi uh, vision, I believe he had felt sick after seeing this vision, man. He became ill, man. All right? Because what did just say at the end of the 11? He was afraid of what he saw, man. All right? He just said, he said, everyone that came up against the Lord was beat to powder, man. All right? It's not as, hey, this is not a game, bro. All right? Yeah, how about Shimmy how shy? Don't play games with no fucking body, man. Okay? Nobody, man. So let's. I'm gonna get this precept right here. This is a. Uh, this is going further into it, man. Of, of what Elder Apostle Bar was talking about, man. That new that it will be a great invasion on the earth, man, from the Lord. All right. This is Second Edges thirteen and thirty one. And one shall undertake to fight against another, one city against another. 
one place against another, one people against another, and one realm against another. All right? One realm against another, man. The spiritual realm is coming down into this physical realm, all right? This mortal realm, all right? To deal with the to to deal with the wickedness that is that has been pushed out in the earth, man. All right? That's why you how about Shim how shy is coming to set everything right. Because everything right now is all topsy turvy because of, of the heathen, man. All right. First off, you you saw Edom, man. You self proclaimed white people. Y'all have y'all have done wrong in the earth all throughout the earth, man. The A, hey, everything is dying down here, man. The earth itself, the animals, the air, the food is got the food is is upside down, man. GMOs, the people is upside down, the mindset of the people. All right. Everything is destroyed down here, man. So you how about Shem how shy? Who you call God and Jesus Christ? Well, it's gonna uh, set it set it alright, man. And that's justly so. Alright? I'm gonna get this last precept and I'm gonna end it out. This is Isaiah 26. Isaiah 26. Start at 20. Now this is uh this is gonna go into uh when uh the nukes is gonna be hitting at this time. The Lord has already called up one third of the nation of Israel, man. Because that's the only that's the only people that's gonna get saved out of this nuclear nuclear holocaust, all right. And of course, it's gonna be some to uh to survive the nuclear holocaust, all right. And those are, are those are the ones that's gonna be slaves, man. And it's gonna be Israelites alive at that time as well, man. And we're gonna have to purge out those rebels. This is Isaiah 26 and 20. Come, my people, after thou, after thou enter into thy chambers and shut thy doors about thee, and hide thyself as it were for a little moment, until the indignation be overpassed. All right? Just like in, in the time of Noah. That's why the Lord said it is gonna be in the time of Noah, man. When Noah closed those doors on that ark. He had to wait until the indignation of the Lord be overpassed to come up out of that ark. It's going to be the same thing for the one third of the nation of Israel, man. We're going to be up above the firmament, watching the destruction of the wicked on the earth through the nuclear holocaust, man. All right. This is 21. For behold, the Lord cometh out of his place. The Lord cometh out of his place and comes out of the spirit world to deal with what? To punish the inhabitants of the earth for their iniquity, for their continual sin, man. All right. The earth also shall disclose her blood and shall no more cover her slain. That's going to be, hey, there ain't going to be nobody left on the earth that's going to be slain because the nuclear missile is going to wipe everybody that has died off, man. And if it be any other dead bodies laying around, then, hey, that's going to be, uh, that's going to be fixed accordingly, man. All right. Through slaves, all right. And how about Shim how shy is coming back to put this world back right, man. All right. Whether you like it or not, it don't matter, man. Yahweh Bashim Shah is not a respect of a person's. Yahweh Bashim Shah's will will be done, man. As in heaven, also on earth, man. Roughly paraphrasing. Look, hey, that's all I had. I came on that. With that, I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory that is due, you know, to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah, Bashim, Kakwadash. Double honor to my elder apostle, Great Millstone, who rule well, man. So I touch rescue, brush, pushing his truth with sincerity. Risking your life to do so in the spirit of power, you have by Shimmy How Shy. Baba Kashai, you have by Shimmy How Shy. A Baba Ball. On to the next one.